How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. We just got some pretty bad news, uh, some pretty bad economic news that was delayed by a very long time. And we have a setup that looks very positive for Bitcoin and for crypto. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. If you want to trade crypto, there is a link to Margex underneath the video where you can start trading. You can get this account set up in just a few minutes because... They don't require KYC, which means they don't have to get your personal identification or anything like that. And you don't need a VPN either. You can just set up, deposit, start trading today. There's also a link underneath the video to CoinW. They're doing a deposit bonus and trading volume bonus. Uh, depending on how much you deposit and trade, you can get up to 3,000 USDT. Now let's start here. Today, we're supposed to get news at 10 a.m. Eastern time on the jobs uh, revision. We're supposed to revise, or the Fed was supposed to revise down by up to a million in what would be the largest downward revision in 15 years. Fake jobs, fake inflation, fake GDP. Zero Hedge said the market react or reacted to the BLS revision number, which wasn't even published yet. This was as of 10.02, which was two minutes past when they were supposed to publish it. They didn't publish it 25 minutes later, uh, there's just the unemployment rose 1.3% news uh, through March 2024. But then finally, it came out. It looks like almost an hour late. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, the BLS, makes the largest downward employment revision in 15 years. Reveals the U.S. economy added 818,000 fewer jobs than initially reported, which means about 20% of the new jobs were fake. They weren't they weren't real. 25%, somewhere around there. The revision was worse than expected with Wells Fargo expecting 600,000 jobs and JP Morgan forecasting about 360,000 jobs. Like I said, this is the largest that we've seen in over 15 years. We only needed I think it was 501,000 fewer jobs than initially reported to be the highest in 15 years and now we got 818. So, yeah, this is bad. It shows the US economy really is uh, worse than people expected with less employment, uh, less new jobs, and really sets us up, I think, for a Fed rate cut. I mean, we were already expecting that. The numbers haven't really shifted today versus yesterday on whether economists think a 25 basis point cut or a 50 basis point cut. But you can see there's about a 70% chance, just 25 basis points, and a 31% chance that we get a 50 basis point cut. So yeah, I mean, the fact is, this actually isn't affecting the traditional markets that much either. You can see the S&P 500 is up about a quarter percent, uh, and NASDAQ's up a quarter percent as well. The VIX is up slightly, but Overall, this isn't affecting Bitcoin either. Bitcoin's actually up a little bit. Now, why is this? Well, again, it just, I think, enforces the fact that we are expecting a rate cut in September, uh, probably throughout the rest of the year, getting more rate cuts. Inflation has continuously come in low and everything is as people expected. The market was already pricing this in yesterday with some people thinking up to a million jobs would be cut. So uh, yeah, not too much, I guess, uh, not too much surprise there. There was 818,000. It was kind of just in line with what people already expected. Now, this is pretty exciting. This is interesting. The DXY is falling down. We're actually at the lowest point that we've been since, what, 2023, the very end of 2023, and almost lower than we were then. You can see we're at 101.2 on the DXY. And this is after we went all the way up to 115 on the DXY. This was like peak bear market. When we were around 110 to 115, this was the very bottom of the crypto market in late 2022. And typically what we've seen is a massive bull run each time we see the DXY fall down, at least the last two cycles. You can see DXY was pumping up to 103 in 2016 and then started to fall down. And this is where we kicked off the 2017 bull run with massive uh, with mas massive injections of capital into crypto throughout 2017. And same thing in 2020, we hit a high of about 102 right around COVID time, right at the peak of the bear market or like right when the market was turning, but then it went down right when COVID happened. We see massive volatility in, in the DXY. And then all of a sudden the DXY falls because of 
a lower interest rate environment. That's one of the major reasons that DXY falls is rates get lowered. Uh, and as you can see here, like top of the bull market was the bottom on the DXY. Pretty interesting, right? And then as soon as the DXY started moving up, like back in late 2021, when it starts making its move up significantly, that's when the market fell down. And then, yeah, peak bear market at the peak here. Now we chopped around here for a while, which, you know, a lot, Bitcoin has chopped around around the last three, four months, So, which is just this on the chart here. But chopped around here, Bitcoin moved up a lot actually since this bottomed. Bitcoin has maybe moved up from 25,000 up to 60,000. But now we're looking like we might fall down further, especially with rates being lowered. You'd expect the DXY to fall as well, which means bull run, right? That is very exciting for people that pay attention to this. And this is one of the big indicators. And it makes sense, right? If the dollar is less strong, that means that we're probably in a lower interest rate environment, which means it makes more sense to invest in higher risk assets. David Bailey, who is the CEO of Bitcoin Magazine, also the Bitcoin Conference, says the annualized funding rate on Binance Bitcoin perps is negative 20% right now. Any theories? And then some people just, you know, talk about uh, all the speculators think we're going lower soon. The music will stop and they won't have a chair to sit. James Van Strand says it's greater on OKX. This is uh, this is third deepest in the past year. Just think it's momentum and sentiment. So yeah, even though Bitcoin's at 60,000, the speculators are betting we're going lower, which typically means that we're probably going higher. As soon as everyone's on one side of the trade, it usually goes in the opposite direction. We've chopped around here for a long time, around 50 to 70, 50 to 73,000. So uh, yeah, I am bullish. I'm, I'm honestly pretty bullish for the coming months. Typically falls really good for uh, crypto. Also, with the Fed lowering rates, some of that's priced in, but also some people, you know, it takes them until they actually cut rates to feel like, wow, I was making, you know, $1,000 in interest last month. Now I'm making 900 on my account. Then a couple months from now, I'm gonna make 800, then 700, then 600. Maybe I should go invest this money somewhere else. It sounds crazy, but some people do have like a quarter million just sitting in an account earning that four or five percent interest, and they will move it into the markets when the time comes. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. If you do want to play some trades, there's the link underneath the video to Marjex, and there are the other links as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.